This is Eagle Bending Machines and this is our new DP7 control panel touchscreen offered with most of our hydraulic machines, all of our CP models and our CPS models. And this touchscreen control, it's very intuitive. Everything's laid out in a very simple manner and it's very easy to create programs and duplicate programs and you can also save your programs to a USB flash drive. Here on the left side you can see this cable connection. This goes to our new style archimeter that can connect directly to the touchscreen DP7 control panel and read out your radius of your part. Now right here at the top you can see your program, total steps, step plus one, your position for that step, and this is our current position right here. When you turn on the machine you're in this basic manual mode of operation. Right now I have the e-stop button pressed so the hydraulics are turned off. I'm going to release this. The hydraulics come on and I can manually operate the machine. We have this panel connected to a CP40H machine which has a minimum of zero and a maximum of 95. Alright, I'm going to start on the left. Enable single quote. This single quote position is for repetitive production bending. When you have one position, duplicate the same parts over and over and over again. Right now, position is zero. I want to touch that. I want to make it 20. The arrow is telling me to move down. It stops on 20. Now it says end. It's wanting me to go back up to the top. And in this mode, I can repeat this position over and over again. Now to disable this single stop quote mode, I can disable single quote or I can hit the R button. The, the letter R right here, it is a universal reset if you're in a program if you're in the single stop mode you can hit the reset it will clear it out or you can hit disable single quote and it will disable that our second spot is the self learning in the self learning you can acquire steps and positions as you roll parts and you generally start with a blank program right now the only thing we have saved in here is program number one you can see it's a total of five steps step one is position 10 step two is position 20 three is 30 40 50 six step six is zero so we're going to leave this program the way it is. We're going to move to the next program. Now we're at program two, total steps zero. We're on step one. If you move the hydraulic cylinder manually, you can see the position is relating to the position of the bending cylinder. So we're going to move down. We roll the part. You can step on the foot pedals for rotation. Now we're going to acquire that step. It records step one. We're going to move to step two. We're going to put a little more pressure on that part. Roll it back through. We're going to acquire that step for position two. We're going to move to step three. And you could do this with up to 20 steps. The DP7 panel can hold up to 20 programs, 20 steps each. Now I'm only going to make that three steps and now we're going to move back up, go to step four and we're going to acquire that step. You're going to see a little bit of a flip when I run this program. Now I'm going to exit and it automatically loads what I've done in the self-learning. Immediately wants me to start from step one. Step one's position 19.6. Now I'm going to go up to 19.6. We would roll the part through. Now it wants me to go down to 32.3. And then imagine rolling your part back and forth, bending a little at a time, some work hardening on the material. 
Now on step four, I did program that to go back up. So now the arrow is pointing up for step four. And as you go through this, your steps change and when the program's over, it will say end. And then you move back to the top and it restarts your program. Now I'm gonna hit the R button to reset. Now we're gonna go load change program. Program one is test. Now I modified program two, so I'm going to enter on program two. You can see our four positions. There is no program name listed in the gray box. You touch the gray box. Label that test two. Press enter. Now our program is named. You can go back, which will take us back to this. Oh, I did not save. When you make any changes, be sure to save. Now when I go back, the name is shown in the list. I can delete the program or I can load and execute. And that takes us back to where we were originally. I am going to load program one which has our positions 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Load and execute. Starts me off on step one. Gives me the down arrow. I'm gonna move down. Step two. Three. Four. And five. Now we'll move back to the end. and it will allow it wants me to start the program again. I'm going to reset that. This bypass button right here, that is to, if you're in the middle of a program and you need to go past a certain point, you can turn that on or off. And then that allows you to bypass, bypass that program step. Now here on the left bottom, we have our USB import and export files. Here I am going to refresh list. Now I will preview. There's nothing on the USB. See, there's nothing here, so it's not going to load any programs. Let's preview that. We have our program one, and we can preview program two. So both of those are listed. You can see your steps, and then you can export. So now I exported it onto the USB.